Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a fish brooch and brooch with the sequins, beads and crystals. A full list of used materials can be found in the description under the video. Cut the fish out of the dense felt 3mm thick. You can find a link to this stencil in the description down below. Cut the fish's body out of the thin felt at 1mm thick but 3mm larger. Now, sew this piece of thin felt to the dense felt exactly along the upper contour as shown in the video. Sew on with small stitches as close to the contour as possible. Now, put the center pin in the resulting pocket. Along the contour of the fish, I then sew a metalised rope 1mm thick. To fix the rope, I will use a transparent monofilament of 0.12mm thick. I coat the ends of the rope with nail polish to make it easier for working with. Try sewing the rope as close to the edge as possible. Sew a 2mm crystal golden bead for the eye. I embroider the body with 5mm sequins from right to left to imitate the scales.
I embroidered nine rows, three rows of indigo sequins with bluey, greeny, purple hues, and six rows of sequins with bluey, violety, greeny hues. In the second, third, fourth, and fifth row, I added two to three sequins of a different colour to make a small transition from one colour to another. Then I sew the crystal rhinestone chain two millimetres thick on the contour of the head as shown in the video. The last rhinestones can be glued with jewellery glue. After that, sew a turquoise sized 10 seed bead near the rhinestone chain. The remaining space is filled with lots of size 10 seed beads of emerald colour. Also, sew a strass chain along the contour of the upper fin and fill the remaining space with size 10 golden seed beads. I embroidered the tail with 3.4mm crystal beads and size 10 seed beads. The contour of the lower fin embroidered with the blue size 10 seed beads and inside filled with golden seed beads. The cardboard should be a couple of millimetres smaller than the embroidery. Glue the clasp on the cardboard and wait for it to completely dry. Then, glue a leatherette in which I have already made two holes for the clasp. Cut about 1.5 metres of monofilament and pass a needle through all of the layers, leaving a 7cm long tail. Pass a needle through all of the layers in the same place again and wrap the monofilament around the needle 2-3 to three times and tighten it well. String one size 10 seed bead and pass through all the layers in the same place. Pass through the seed bead with a needle down and then up and tighten it well. Next, string one seed bead and pass through all of the layers 1 to 2 millimetres further. Pass through this seed bead down and then up and so on. Pass through the first seed bead top and then down and tie both tails into several knots. My fish brooch is done. Thank you for watching. I'd be grateful if you could subscribe to my channel click on the bell to receive notifications of my new interesting tutorials.